We have some really big news. We, we bought, bought a farm! Oh, this is like a dream come true. This, this is, is so exciting. This is a huge dream come true. We are here on our new farm that we just bought. What is life? We've honestly been hiding it a little bit from you guys. It's been a couple months now that we've had this place. But I'm excited to show you around and show you exactly what our future plans are, what we want to do here. Pretty epic. We have some big plans for this place, so yeah. get ready. Banks is already running around loving it so much. I just feel so excited for the future and the memories we're going to make here. All right, let's show you guys. Do you love the farm, Banks? Banks loves it. This is just like what makes me so happy is how much Banks loves running. Look at him. He's just running around being a kid, living his best life. And that just makes me happy. Come on. <laughs> All right, so you may be wondering what is behind me. This is actually one of the barns that is on the property. I can't really show you the inside. The previous owners, they have still a lot of their property on the land, and this is actually full of their stuff. Still have a couple months to come and move it all out, which is fine, it's not a big deal. But I'm super excited for this because it's a pretty big barn. This rolls up. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I'm excited, it's gonna be pretty epic. This is my favorite part of this entire land. All of these trees are just insane. I've never seen trees like this in Arizona. So big, there's so many cool little features that we have back here that I'm so excited to show you. This is the other side of that barn that Dalma was just showing you. And we're thinking about turning this into something cool, maybe like a gym, a studio. We don't really know quite yet. We're just kind of taking it day by day, but we're so excited for this backyard because we have a grapefruit tree. We have raspberry and blueberry and blackberries back here. A lot of fresh eucalyptus, a lot of space for activity. Look at all this floor space. So much aerobics in here. So many activities. Look at my head spin, how many activities we can do. I want to get chickens. Babe, we're getting chickens, right? Yeah, I want to do chickens. We're getting chickens. I'm just so excited. I just think this place is so homey. Come look at how cute this is. We have a cute little pergola. Imagine putting like a little table out here, stringing some lights, and just a vibey little hangout spot, a little pergola. I love trees. And so when you stand out here in the middle, you're just surrounded by giant trees. That was one of the biggest reasons I really wanted this piece of property because it has trees that are well over a hundred years old and that's just so hard to find right now. I love it. This is another barn that we have back here. This one was built in the 1800s. Yeah, it was built it's in the 1800s old. and apparently it came from a farm up in Utah. They brought it so down cool. here. I don't know the complete history. I want to learn we about it though that out. because it is so cool. Let's go inside. Welcome to our barn. This could be something cool here too. Right Right now it's not finished, but just picture this, okay? We have twins, okay? Ooh. And, then, and then we drive all this out, we put a little AC in here, and we make it a really cool little hangout spot for the kids. You can make this like a little playhouse. I want to put like a mini kitchen, like little miniature stuff, like little beds in here so the kids can have sleepovers. I just feel like this would be such a cute little place to grow up and run around the backyard and have fun with your friends and make believe. And oh, and we're gonna put a tree house back here, which I think is so cool. Like I said, I love trees. Big fan of trees. Had my eye on this one for a minute. I can make coolest, most epic treehouse in this one. It's already the perfect climbing tree. Try and climb tree. it. Try and climb it. Whoa, this is so cool. Okay, don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah, I'm not 15 years old. I'm getting old. I used to be able to do fun stuff. The kids ah! will love it though. The kids will love it. The kids are going to love this. So you may be asking, are you guys moving here right away? And the answer is no, we are not moving here right away. We have this land secured because once we saw this land pop up, this has actually been our dream spot for a long time. When we saw it, we couldn't pass it up. For now, we have this cool house that's already on the property. It's like a little farmhouse. We're gonna rent it out or maybe make it an Airbnb. We're kind of in the stages of trying to figure that out right now. Yeah, it's just the cutest little house. We'll give you a tour of the inside. It's just like a tiny little farmhouse and I love it so much. It has so much cute character, but I can picture, babe, can you picture this? Building our dream home here on the back of the property. I think it would be so beautiful. I just can't wait for our kids to grow up here. Welcome to the main barn. This is where if we in the future want to have horses, to be honest, I'm thinking while we have someone in the house, I really want to board horses here. I think it'd be really cool. Here's this beautiful barn with two stables or stalls. We got to learn the farm terms. Yeah, don't I don't even it. know. This is it behind me. The how two cool stalls. Look how cool this is. I just saw this the other day. There's a little latch right here. I'm hyped on this. Then you open this up. Then I have some hay. What's hay for, Bella? Horses. <laughs> So then I walk in here, drop the hay right here, and then the horse comes in through that door, and it eats. Bye-bye, horsey. So then what happens is, you wanna let the horses in or out, you open up this. Right now we only have this little horse, but one day we'll have bigger horses. This hasn't been open in so long. Look at all the spider webs. This gate right here. Whoa, this is cool. Pace wants out. Our you wanna get horse. out? 
Bye, horsey. Run free. <laughs> well, right now, we're getting all this junk cleaned up because this is actually the previous owners. So we're gonna have all this cleared. Then we might even like grass this whole area to just have space and land to be able to have animals. There's literally oh, there's cows. cows back here. I'm living my cowgirl dream. I need Babe, to should we get cows? I think we should get cows. I really want goats. That's like the one thing I really want. I think it'd be so cool if we got chicken, goats. I want all the farm life. Now that we I have the space. We're gonna start with chickens. Yeah. We're gonna start small. Get chickens and we have a dog. Fun so. fact about me, I actually grew up somewhat on a farm. We had pigs, cows, chickens. So I kind of understand how to do it. Dallin grew up riding horses. Too. I did ride a lot of horses when I was younger. I love all the green grass over here. Let me show you these cows in the back. This isn't our property, but it backs up to the neighbor's property. This is where there's a massive cow farm. It's so cool. I don't think he's ever seen cows before. Aww. He blends in with the dirt so good. Gosh, look at the baby cow. He's so cute. It's crazy. It's actually raining right now here in Arizona, which is so random. It's the most beautiful day ever. I just feel so excited. I can't wait. In 15 years, we're going to look back. We're going to show our kids how this all was at the beginning. We're going to be running around out here. Wait, let's talk about like our plans. So right as of right now, I feel like our plan is just within the next couple years to start drawing up plans for our future house. Get this all ready. Maybe get some chickens on here while we wait. Honestly, though, I am in love with the farmhouse. We're going to go show I you guys it. that next. It's so awesome. Unfortunately, it's just too small to even like really have a family in it. It's such a sick home. I want to show you guys that. So on the other side of this fence right here, there is a lot of grass and there's like a whole other section. There's not much to it. There's a couple trees. I think over there, what I'm going to do is I want to put more fruit trees. I love the idea of like, I don't know, like a Orange mini field. orchard or like oranges or I don't even know something. I just like fruit. I like being able to just live off the land, enjoy the land. But yeah, we're still in and around the city, which is super awesome. I'm in love with this house. This is it right here. It's so cool. Welcome to the cutest little farmhouse ever. Come on in. Let's show what we're working with. Right now when you walk in, there's a tiny little kitchen, a pretty little pantry over here. We have a little living room. There's gonna be like a couch in here, your rug, TV over here. So we actually have somebody coming to stay here for the next five days. And so we're just having them put a in this- A makeshift table. A couple of little appliances just to get by for the next five days because we haven't got furniture yet. We come down this hallway. I really love the sliding barn door. This is like my childhood dream room. Imagine like you and your brothers or your friends all staying in these bunk beds. It's crazy because these bunk beds are built in too. So it's like actually drywall then part of the wall. It's gonna be fun. There's a lot of work that I wanna do on here. I got a lot of plans, it's all in my head, but we're gonna make this so epic. I really think this house has so much potential. Like it's so cute. The bones of it are adorable. I can just see the future of what this house could be. There's a bathroom in here. It's just a simple bathroom, but I really like behind the shower curtain, it's brick. Behind the shower curtain, there's the brick of the house and that leads out to the front, which is so cool. And then in here is the master. So you can just see it's just a simple master bedroom. I really like the windows in this house. The windows are actually really cool. They're like a farm style. They crank open. I think it's cool. I just love this place. It makes me happy. And then coming out of the master bedroom back here, there's another little section. The previous owners had it as an office. Then you go into the bathroom right there. There's your standard bathroom. The house is like two and a half bedroom, two bathroom, I think. So somewhat small, but that's kind of what makes it like such a cool vibe. Tiny. I love it. I don't it's ever want to get rid of it. I think it's such a beautiful home. I'm so excited. We got some big plans for this place. There you have it. Welcome to the Lambert family farm. I'm so excited for you guys to see what's to come with this land. Are you pumped, babe? I am so excited. I've been wanting land for the longest time. To finally have it, it's just so cool. It's seriously a dream come true. We don't really know what the future holds with this land, and that's why we're so excited that you guys get to be a part of it. Of course, you get to stay tuned to see what we do with it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing a couple projects here in the next couple months. So. I already have something on my sleeve. I've been in contact with somebody. Oh, that's, I forgot about that. I'm so yeah, excited. It's super unique. So excited It's been for one of Dallin's long time dreams to have this. Oh, so it's going to be so cool. I'm I can't so excited. wait to tell you guys anyway seriously we love you guys we you guys really are you amazing guys. we love you you watching this thank and you so much we're also gonna have more ivf updates coming soon still been getting a lot of questions about that we have a lot of ivf updates coming but right now we're just enjoying life trying to stay happy yeah we love you guys all right guys we're signing off thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next video later mm -hmm.